Right, so um, so what happened there was practically nothing. Um, and I was just putting the video camera away, thinking I'm not going to upload that. And then I thought, um, it was just a quick succession of thoughts, and I thought, you know, I didn't... Um, I didn't really involve God in, in any way, so calling this the meditation guide, where I've just done part one and kind of nothing happened, so let's try as an experiment, do the same things again, so we've got half a spliff, tea, okay, so I have sat for a bit. But this time I will engage with God in a sense that sort of, because I kind of did get a feeling, you know, well, anything you do is meant to be and all that, so. Let's see if I involve God, if uh, anything will happen. So I haven't started yet, I'm just smoking this. Perhaps I shouldn't have filmed this, but you know, got to make it, <laughs> got to prove it right. I should probably be talking to feel the silence. I guess turning on a video, you're not wishing to hear silence. Because if someone's talking, then you're busy. You're busy listening. That is an active participation, isn't it? Listening. Those who have ears to hear. Okay, there's many levels why he may have said that. Of course, we're assuming everybody did have ears. It wasn't a common thing to be missing ears. So he's obviously not talking about the physical ears, because they all had physical ears. So on one level it's, you know, are you fertile soil? Are you willing to hear? That's one thing. But I think on a separate issue there's a... If we say for those who have the ability to feel, feel. Feel what's coming out of me. So he may be saying words, but also he was trans maybe transmitting the feel of the thing. Some things are so important they have a feel. Feeling is that soul dimension. There are, there is height, width and depth in feeling. And so is there everything else. Uh, you know, power of something. The volume of something. And when you're feeling on the soul level, okay, so we've got, in the physical realm, we can see, so which is light waves, and we can hear, which is sound waves. And on the soul level, you know, it's vastly more, just more, 
more than this. Thousands, if not millions. And who knows what else we might learn in the next thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand, million years. Because we are learning, we are growing. So time, time is as present as love. Thank God for time. Whatever the beings we are, we are certainly stuck in time. Yes, I've had meditations where I'm not thinking about time. <laughs> you don't have to think about time. The time is there. We've got bags of time. It's our greatest resource. Okay. So now I'm going to meditate and I'm going to contact God and, you know, basically sort of say, you know, why, what, what we're going to do, why am I... <laughs> Why am I sitting here in front of a video camera intending to upload this when, you know, you can't really film what's happening on soul level, can you? But we'll, we'll see. Sometimes something comes out. So I'm going to contact father and mother, either, both at the same time, if I can. Can't usually do that. Well, sometimes I can, I sort of understand that they are together, united, but anyway. So I'm sort of feeling that confirmation, mainly from mother. So mother's coming from beneath, it's sweet, lovely, lovely feeling from mother. So I feel this feeling come up and into me and it kind of hits my midpoint and that actually causes a little, just a little heart. I call it heart but it's right in the centre. A little palpitation, hardly a palpitation, that was pretty smooth. And then it just feels good. I often feel that when I've received God's love through meditation that it comes into me and, you know, quite often I will do something and send that love out some other way. It's hard to hold on to, in a sense. You find yourself having to do something. If I could pour some of it to you. I'm not entirely sure who you are, but some went out. Today's Sunday. I I uh, recommend we change the days of the week to something more inspirational. We'll start with Sunday. It should be Faith Day then Patience Day, then Wisdom Day, then Wednesday would become Mercy Day, then Justice Day, then Peace Day, and finally Goodness Day, Seven Spirits of Love, Spirits of God, whatever, which one. That would be good. So today's Faith Day. Of basically saying, have faith that God is there for you, God is there for all of us. God is all loving and forgives, forgives you instantly, knows you. Not just this life you're living now, has known every single one of your lives since you were born. God knows you better than you know yourself. God knows me better than I know myself. 
that's why God ought to be your guide, your teacher. And you're in God. So, <clears throat> it may not be as hard as you think to find God. Believing you won't find God means you probably won't find God. Those who seek shall find. Have some faith in that. And they will be disturbed. And if they endure, they will be astonished. That's in the Gospel of Thomas. Some of the Gnostic texts that didn't make it into the Bible. You've got to take the wheat with the chaff. You learn how to discern truth for yourself. You decide what's true and what's lies and see how that goes. Well, for a start, involving God has made me talk more. Made me feel like I can give you some good advice because I've got God with me, you know, if I said something wrong, God let me know. I say something right, God let me know. I'm still feeling love for Mother. So you never want to rush it, there's no. I often have this thing where I feel Mother and then I want to feel Father and but there's no rush. Father's not going anywhere. Neither of them are going anywhere. Ever. kind of feeling them properly now. All encompassing around my heart. You know, I've been here before. As you get more used to it, you get more accepting of it and more glad of it. Nothing beats this feeling. This is satisfaction. Nothing else can give you this satisfaction. what we're all looking for. And here I am getting it. And I've been trying to, you know, tell other people. But for some reason it doesn't always get communicated properly or, you know, If I just smoked the joint and drank the tea and fasted, pretty much nothing happened. I mean, I felt all right. But without God, they keep thinking, without God, that knows us way, way better than we know ourselves. What can we hope to achieve? Why refuse it? Why not take what's being offered?
That's crazy. I mean, in a way, when God guided me, God guided me and showed me about the one love that's in within me. And God's ultimate aim, you know, is probably that we wouldn't be dependent, but never completely out of independence. We're not. We are breaking new ground, what we do every day. We are going into new territory, even though the universe is, we can't say it's infinite. However big it is, we're still breaking new ground. And a long, long way into the future, we'll be having children, we'll be like God has been to us. And then they'll be breaking the new ground. But we'll still be having a new experience. And beyond that, <laughs> What can our little minds understand? I'm quite happy leaving it there. But I'm not happy leaving it at 90 years old. That's not, that's not happening. We're more than that. And I don't know what I feel inside my body. What is that receptor of love? Because it's not my physical heart. Sometimes it's, you know, size isn't... Like, that love that come in from Mother God comes into, like, here and it does something that seems to fill my body, so there's no organ, there's no one, or it's not the physical organs, although it probably has an effect on them, because what happens on the soul is dominant over everything else, so if your soul is hurting, eventually your physical body is going to be hurting, and so if your soul is relishing and enjoying the love, that will also come through to the physical body. But, what I'm feeling here is not the physical me. And this is what the cannabis activates in the physical body to be able to feel the soul. tree of knowledge of good and evil. Let me get back to God. You know, I need to even up, I need to feel from Father. There's an area at the back of your head, the crown. Now, I believe there's only one spirit who can truly touch that spot. And that is Father God. And it's only Mother God who can come from directly beneath. So we're talking of feeling of the soul. Another little heart palpitation. Because the thought I had was about other spirits. So our brothers and sisters who have in the spirit world. 
you'll feel them usually from the front but coming from somewhere not directly up and not directly down it does seem to vary quite a lot sort of could be anywhere in there sort of thing <clears throat> but so Father God this is where I'll be starting to detect because the first thing I ever felt from God was a hand on top of my head back when I was 20 years old and I'd gone out to Norway to sort myself out anyway I'm going to feel it now And I will think of the name Jesus for both of them. Mother Jesus, Father Jesus. Jesus is the name of God as far as my belief system at the moment goes. And it's, it's been over a year and it seems to be ringing true. God has a name we can call on. There's power in that name. Jesus. And I'm feeling Father God coming in as far as to my head. Now into my heart. It's like a beam of light. And I'm not concentrating on the light. It's just the frequency, the feeling. And again, it sort of reacts with my core space, my heart. And I have to be sensitive to feel it. I am struggling a little bit to feel this. I'm sensitive of the light. distracted with the video and <clears throat> also thinking about smoking calm and in a good mood Father God's love is searching and inspirational. Sees all. Invigorating. Cleansing. Kind and warm, of course.
cherry. You do kind of affiliate more with your same sex. So if, if a man affiliate a bit more with Father God and a little bit more akin to with Mother God it's different Got the right leg going numb. Which might mean there's something coming in terms of some sort of step or Some fear in my lower back. To remember to engage with God. Father. Jesus. love to that's three and I'm in the middle of it all the one love. 